Hey guys, Sean here, and today I want to share my opinion about the recent silver price crash over the last three days. And if you really didn't know by now, the price of silver dropped from nearly $24 down to $22.40. And I believe that silver will continue to face some pressure for the foreseeable future, right? It could be anywhere from a few weeks to a few months down the road. Now, this is because the world economy is slowly opening back up. A lot of people are going out and spending more money, as you can see from the US retail report, which has been uh, more positive than anticipated. And that is one of the core reasons that uh, caused the silver price crash. Now, however, what I believe is that the fundamentals for silver is still strong, right? I mean, Federal Reserve is continuing to purchase a lot of bonds at an alarming rate, even though they say they're going to taper, but tapering hasn't really been done uh, just yet, right? And, you know, silver has always been accumulated in the past over the centuries as uh, money itself. It does serve a bit of a monetary purpose, and going forward, there's also uh, the Green New Deal, right? The world's moving more towards sustainable energy, uh, electric vehicles. And, you know, silver is going to be a core component of quite a few of these technologies, including uh, solar panels. So, I mean, uh, going forward for the next maybe uh, five to ten years at least, I'm, I'm the industrial demand for silver, and I do believe that it's definitely going to pick up. Now, I want to take a different approach to this video and I'm not really going to uh, go through all the technical charts. Uh, there are many videos out there. You can go online, you can Google search for it and you'll be able to find tons of uh, traders and other YouTubers giving you advice on how to trade silver and letting you know that there's a bit of maybe a technical damage uh, from the charge, which is quite obvious right now. But I want to go through the mindset that we should have and the kind of silver stacking strategy that perhaps now is the time for you to really formulate for yourself. And I'll share my own uh, silver stacking strategy, strategy as well. With regards to being calm and weathering the storm, you know, uh, silver is definitely going to be a wow and bumpy ride. It's even more volatile than gold. And, you know, gold is easy for gold to see anywhere from 2 to 5 to even a 10% uh, drop over a week or uh, a month, right? So the thing is that silver, because it's a smaller market compared to gold and more or less, right, to its detriment and sometimes to its advantage as well. Every time when gold moves up, silver moves up a bit more. And when gold crashes, silver crashes just a bit more as well. So I believe that we should really stay calm and weather the storm. And if you do not really need to sell your physical silver, I personally wouldn't give a recommendation for you to liquidate your uh, silver right now. But however, if you're in the ETFs and if you really believe that silver is really going to continue to go down, uh, you could really speak to your financial advisor and see whether it makes sense to liquidate some of your paper silver and get back in if the market actually goes down. But anything could happen. There has been technical damage done, but I do believe that at the end of the day, silver will continue to rise and we do not know what kind of situation or what kind of event that could give silver a tailwind for it to go back up from this uh, point onwards, right? You know, I, I do believe from $22.40 onwards, there will be a bit of a spike up uh, next week, maybe up to $23, I'm not so sure. Yeah, don't, don't really take my word for it, but this is something that I think we should all uh, closely monitor. And now I want to touch a bit on the importance of a silver stacking strategy, right? So if you are one of those uh, kind of people that after you watch a video of a stock or silver gold or anything Bitcoin and after hearing a very compelling argument and you dump all your money into a single price point at a, at a point of time, I think you're really setting up yourself for failure, right? Because uh, no matter what market you're in, I don't believe that um, it is very rare for anyone to enter the market and really pick the bottom, right? And chances are, if you hear the news, the price of a stock, if someone, if CNBC or whatever, a uh, talking kid on the news channel is saying that a price of a stock is doing very well, chances are, you know, buy the rumor, sell the fact, right? It might be time to get out, not really get in. So when it comes to precious metals, um, actually when it comes to any kind of uh, investment out there, I do believe that a superior strategy is the dollar cost averaging, right? So for every uh, single month you set aside a certain amount of dollars and you put it into silver or maybe put it to S&P 500 depending on what uh, you want to invest. So let's just talk about silver, right? Now for my own strategy, every month 
I set aside enough money to buy anywhere between 10 to 60 ounces a month, right? So there's a reason for this uh, quite a big gap. So 10 ounces of silver every month is something that I want to consistently accumulate no matter how uh, low or how high the price is. Now, when it comes to situations like this, when silver suddenly takes quite a bit of a dive, I am more inclined to actually uh, buy more silver in this case, right? I could maybe buy 20 or 30 ounces or maybe even up to 40 ounces and see how things goes on. So I, I really want us to have this kind of uh, mindset that we don't want to YOLO all our purchases at one go. We want to slowly, consistently stack silver for a long time to come. Now, if you're buying ETFs, you're uh, playing paper silver, there's a whole different strategy that I won't really want to talk about in this video. But when it comes to physical silver, remember, you're not buying today to sell tomorrow or even sell next week. The premium of each uh, physical silver coin could be anywhere from uh, 10 to 20%. And even when you're buying uh, the bigger silver bars, uh, for example, 10 ounce bar, or maybe you're buying even a 100 ounce bar, there's still going to be a bit of premium, could be anywhere from 3 to 7%, right? So I don't want you to really lose out uh, if you suddenly make a hasty decision and decide to sell. And when it comes to silver, I think we should all adopt a mindset that mm, the world is still printing a lot of money out there. Uh, silver still has industrial use for the, for the months and the years ahead, maybe even decades ahead. However, be prepared for a lot of volatility in this market, especially when the economy somehow uh, is recovering, and the world starting to spend money again. You know, purchasing uh, kind of the mindset is getting back into gear and people are feeling a bit more uh, optimistic. So don't really be, you know, surprised if silver starts to fall a bit more from here so uh yeah that's all i have for you guys today and if you like this video remember to drop it a like and hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching guys adios